Hello, Diggory Haydock here again with the Vintage Gun Journal. And this is the second in our little series of films about how to ascertain the, quality, the uh, condition of your barrels. What we've got here is a side lock W and J Jeffrey um, with steel barrels. Uh, we've measured in a previous video the, uh, the bores using this tool. We're now going to look at the wall thicknesses. Um, always a good idea when the barrels come off a gun. Make sure that they're ringing so that the, uh, the loop and the ribs are intact. If it makes a dull thump, you know there's a problem. But if you hang it from your finger on the, on the uh, hook, you can hear that those sound pretty good. So that's always a good thing to do to just check the integrity. What we're going to do now is check the, the wall thickness. Now, unlike the bores where you only take the measurement nine inches from the breech, with the wall thickness, on, on a sporting gun like this, the, the thin section is going to be there. Normally it'll get a little bit thicker if it's got choke here, but this is where the back gun barrels tend to be thin. They can be thin for a number of reasons. If the book gun has been bored out several times because it's got pity on the inside, they'll use a lead lap to polish the bores and that will take metal away from the inside of the barrels and therefore thin, make the walls thinner. Um, or if there's been dents in the barrels and they've been raised and then the barrels have been struck up again, that will leave thin spots. So sometimes you'll have whole sections of thin barrel, other times you may just find one or two spots. But we need to measure all these areas. Again, always start with the right barrel, that's my pra practice, so I never measure the same barrel twice. And we'll look at this gauge here. The first thing we do is set it to zero, and that's going to measure the distance between those two points. And if I put the um, if I put the gun barrels between them, set it to zero. If I put the gun barrels between them, those two points will tell me how thick they are. So if you just step back there, Michael, um, I'm now going to put the the right barrel gently on there until it comes to rest on the collar, the brass collar. We'll start close to the rib, and we'll begin to slide it gently up and down. Now, when we get to a point that looks quite thin, as it does there at 21, 21 thousandths of an inch, take it off and just let it rest, and we'll see that it comes to settle down to about 22. What we're looking for here is more than 20 or 21 thou, ideally. The British gun trade considers guns with barrels below 20 thousandths of an inch to be really not the right thing to sell. So you'll see a lot of those in auctions because gun dealers, reputable gun dealers, won't sell them. Um, the, the fact of the matter is the, um, the thinner the barrels are, the less life we have in the gun because the more prone they're going to be to, um, to, to denting in the future. So while there's no legal minimum for barrel thicknesses, unlike wall thickness, uh, sorry, unlike a bore size, which is subject to the proof law, um, you can have guns with very thin barrels, which are totally legal to sell as long as they're in proof. Um, there's a reason for that. Um, good material will withstand a proof test when it's thinner, and inferior material will fail the proof test even if it's very thick. So the proof test allows for better materials to, um, to work within the tolerances that they can demonstrate uh, strength in. Now we've measured those, those barrels and we've come up with a minimum of 23 thou. So in my book here, where I've measured the walls here, that's the right barrel, is 23 thousandths of an inch. That's the minimum thickness I could find um, on that barrel. What we'll do next, um, if we were doing this as a proper appraisal, I'd now do the same thing with the, um, with the left barrel and then enter that there. And we then have a full set of figures. We'd have a left barrel measurement, a right barrel measurement, and what we did before was the bores. So we now know the health of the barrels of this gun and that will help us to come up with an accurate evaluation of its um, serviceability, its legality and its value. Thank you very much.